Okay, so this might be the best backpack I've ever owned in my entire life, and that is like not an exaggeration. I've been getting a ton of compliments about, you know, how nice this bag looks from people, and it's just, it's a really good size, and I, I'm really excited to talk about it. It was actually sent to me from Andar. They are the official partner of this video, and I've been using this for like the last two, three months, so I have a really good grasp on, you know, everything about this bag and what I like to carry in here, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video, so... Let's dive right into it. Starting with the backpack, it's formerly known as the Manhattan Backpack from Andar, and it's such a fitting name as it does give New York City vibes by how it looks. It also is shaped differently. It has a rectangular briefcase design, which I appreciate because laptops, iPads, all the stuff that I use and we all use on a regular basis are generally rectangular. So fitting my tech and gear into here is super easy and you're gonna find out more about what I carry inside of here in just a moment. The bag itself is made of 100% premium full grain oil wax leather. It has high quality YKK zippers, adjustable straps that have magnets, which is really clutch. It allows the bag to sit clean and tidy with the straps magnetized when not in use. The official capacity of the backpack is 22 liters so it's not too big, but it's definitely not a small bag. Like it is the perfect size for my needs. So that's the backpack. Let's now open it up one compartment at a time and see what's inside, starting with the main compartment, which is the biggest one. Inside, I carry my 16 inch M3 Max MacBook Pro in the laptop compartment, which I normally only take with me only when I know I'll be doing any kind of video editing while away from home. It is miles and above the most powerful computer I've ever owned, and there isn't a single thing that this computer can't do for me, which is why I love it so much. On the smaller sleeve in front of the laptop compartment is where I'd keep my 13 inch M4 iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard from Apple. I always take this combination with me no matter what. Unlike my MacBook Pro, there are many times I do leave it behind. I just really like working on iPad and being productive on here. And I know, I know, it's not a perfect machine. I, I know that. And there's tons of setbacks and frustrations and, and limitations of iPad OS, but it doesn't take away from the fact that this is the most fun computer I own. And it definitely helps that it does have 5G connectivity built in, which makes working on this iPad anywhere a breeze. Whereas on MacBook Pro, there isn't that cellular connectivity. So, you know, I would have to rely on cellular data from my phone or public Wi-Fi. Both of those solutions I've talked about on the channel not being ideal for me personally. I also keep a portable Lark water bottle inside this compartment. And if you're not familiar with what that is, with, with the tap of a button, it uses UV light to eliminate the bacteria from your water, which makes it perfect to get clean drinking water for myself when I am traveling away from home without the need to buy a water bottle. And if I know I'll be taking pictures or videos, my Sony FX30 with the 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8 G lens and sometimes the 11 millimeter f1.8 lens from Sony comes with me inside of here along with the super duper lightweight carbon fiber peak design tripod. On occasion, if I know there's gonna be lots of downtime and I'm in a gaming mood, I'd toss my Nintendo Switch in here no problem. Or I did also just receive Razer's new Kishi Ultra Game controller which is a freaking beast of a controller and it is actually super fun to play on games like Warzone on your phone. Moving to the middle compartment which is thinner than the one you saw before I like to keep miscellaneous tech accessories in here so for starters I keep a few Bezos 100 watt retractable USB-C cables, a portable folding charging stand for my AirPods, Apple Watch and iPhone, a power brick and if the trip is really long I'll bring my Kindle with me as it's hands down the best way to to read books digitally. It is so easy on your eyes. Like it looks like real paper, you know, reading off your phone, reading off even iPads, That that's, no, that, that's not my thing. I, I highly recommend uh, getting a Kindle. You're gonna love it if you haven't tried it already. I do also carry two phones with me, and this is where I would typically keep them in the bag. My daily drivers right now are the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I use the iPhone as sort of a hybrid personal and work phone, which if you pay attention, I'm rocking a leather case from Andar along with their leather mag wallet. I am 
in love with this combo. I've been using it now for a few months. It lets me travel light without the need of a wallet when necessary while still protecting my phone and keeping it stylish with its 100% leather look. And it also does help that it perfectly matches my backpack setup as well. So kind of helps with my like, consistent aesthetic here. And if it's not obvious by watching all the videos on my channel, like I love my iPhone. There isn't anything I don't like about it. I'm super content that I went with the larger 15 Pro Max size this year, as I've always went with smaller phones in the past. And this time around, I just appreciate the larger display and the bigger battery. And the same is true with the Samsung S24 Ultra. I'm so happy I went with a larger phone because I get all of those same benefits I just mentioned. And I also just use the Android phone exclusively as more of a work phone for emails, text messages with brands and, and you know all that kind of work stuff. I'm just a huge fan of the Samsung S24 Ultra as well. Like it takes incredible photos. Like that's what I love most about it, especially from the distance. It just outclasses iPhone phone in every single way. And if you're debating whether to get an iPhone or a Samsung from watching this video, honestly, like you can't go wrong with either. It just depends. Like what operating system do you prefer? For me, however, I like to always have an Android and iOS device so that I'm in both worlds and I don't get too locked into either ecosystem. And it's it's also kind of my job to, to be well-versed in all things tech, so there's that aspect there as well. Moving on to the front compartment, it doesn't go nearly as deep. It's truly a, like a small pocket of sorts. I'd usually keep my keys in here, which features an air tag on it since I lose things all the time. It does have a wallet compartment for cards if that's your thing, but honestly, I haven't really made much use of it. There are pen holders here as well, which I, desperately need to get filled in. As you can see, they are empty and I keep finding myself needing a pen and just not having one on me. It's super annoying. Not sure if any of you guys can relate to this. You could also fit other cables and miscellaneous items in here as well, but generally I like to just keep really small items in here like my keys or my wallet. And if you go to the other side of the bag, that's where the discrete zipper area is for more storage. And you can pretty much put whatever you want in here. It can fit a phone or personally for me, if I was traveling abroad, I would keep my passport here as it's sort of hidden and out of the way and not in an obvious part of your bag for someone to look through and try to take. Moving on to my hands and my wrist, I'm always wearing the Apple Watch Ultra 2. That is my go-to watch. You're gonna see me wearing that everywhere with the trail loop band if I'm going on my runs, which I'm actually about to after this video, or my titanium band from Sandmark or Casetify or the variety of other bands that I love to rotate through just depending on my mood and where I'm going. I also have been wearing this new smart ring that was sent to me from Ultra Human, like, and I love this thing. It is able to track all my vitals. It has really great sleep tracking, which is what I primarily use it for since it's more comfortable to wear to sleep than like an Apple Watch Ultra since this thing is just huge and you're not you're never gonna find me wearing this to bed and it just it, it does such a good job telling me all kinds of important data on my phone of things that I should do or look out for to stay healthy or sharp for the day like this ring is jam-packed with features I was actually thinking about talking more about it on my channel so let me know if you guys are interested in having like a full video about this tiny ring from Ultra Human. So that is my backpack setup, but let's switch gears now to my iPad Pro and MacBook Pro. I recently made a video comparing and helping you figure out which product would make the most sense for you. It is a super interesting comparison, very insightful. So click right here to watch it now. 